Hi everyone, this is Jesse with FarmingSeattle.com. Today we're going to install impact sprinklers and the first step is to get a 2x4 in the ground. So I'm going to make a giant stake. Uh, with this 2x4, just going to cut the angle on the top of it with a skill saw. Okay, so we got that cut, and we're gonna cut it about five feet probably, so that we can hammer it into the ground. So I'll do that now. And the next step will be to hammer this baby in the ground. Okay, so now we got the Rainbird Brass Impact Sprinkler, a um, hose clamp, and then this fancy uh, fancy contraption. I'll link into the show notes all these products here. Basically, this is like a half inch uh, female top, and then a male. I don't know. This is probably quarter inch or so. Uh, but this will actually fit into the poly irrigation hose which I'm using Then we'll put on the hose clamp on that and I'll have to find out a way on how I want to attach this to the uh, to the stick or the 2x4 right here so stay tuned okay and the last part is I have two hose clamps right there I think they're about a half inch hose clamp so I'm going to nail those to the board, one at the top, one at the bottom, and that should hold in place just nicely. Alright, stay tuned for that. Okay, so one more thing to uh, adjust before I test this out. Uh, these little things right here, you can move them left or right, and that determines what the where this thing is going to travel. So it'll go... It'll keep turning, and then as soon as it hits on the back side there, it flips the lever, and then it starts turning this way. And so on. So that way you can adjust where it's shooting, and I'll have to see how far this is going to shoot um, to my front yard. So let's uh, test it out and see how it works. Alright, so here it is, working along. Like a leak, like a sieve out there, but that's fine. If I need to turn it down a little bit. Just a little bit, but overall pretty good. And we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.